A curious boy, Tim was his name, decided that his games were lame. His homework was quite boring too and thus he looked for things to do. He turns his new computer on, the RC Power Megatron. The welcome screen has quickly passed because his computer's really fast. The wallpaper now fills the screen where welcome messages have been and in the corner all alone the browser icons on its own. Though by surprise what glorious day the mouse cursor is on its way to use the icon double click and open up the browser quick. The window opens and it shows as everyone expects and knows the text bar waiting for some text to know what it should search for next. Tim very eager clicks on it, though then he hesitates a bit. And then he enters just a word, for legal reasons it is blurred. Before proceeding, I would vibe if to this channel you subscribe. My gratefulness would further spike if you could also leave a like. The search result, as we can see, is not what he wants it to be. The links are purple all the way. He's seen them all some other day. Then as he loads the second page, Tim almost wants to scream in rage until as he scrolls down some more he sees three brand new links or four. Quite eagerly, he clicks the first, expecting now to quench the thirst of curiosity within his brain whose patience growing thin. To Tim's surprise before his eyes, not a sight that does arise. Instead the download area shows a new file to the downloads goes. Distrustfully, Tim closes Chrome and opens up his profile's home, then opens downloads where the file sits placed within the old stuff pile. The mp4 extension that Tim's eyes while looking at stock ads assures him that it is ok to double click the file and play. As soon as Tim has clicked on it, his mind is worried for a bit. The trust in his own judgement breaks the longer opening it takes. His worries grow so Tim decides to check again what this file hides, he opens downloads up once more the file name closely to explore. When opening the properties, he is quite shocked by what he sees, as right there clearly does it state the file extension was a bait. Then suddenly it dawns on him, the file he's opened on a whim was not depicting intercourse but acted as a Trojan horse. Tim's heart is racing, panic peaks as a solution now he seeks, his brain is looking for a cure for his computer to endure. The task manager, in its pride, did not start, access denied. The command line was just as mean, has no desire to be seen. Rebooting failed to work as well as error boxes kindly tell. The only thing that brought success was a long power button press. Afraid he was now to the core, Tim quickly went and shut his door and hesitantly powered on his RC Power Megatron. Quite anxious, Tim observes it start, with heavy pounding from his heart, when suddenly the screen turns blue with white text and a sad face too. Tim sighs, accepting his defeat. He's leaning back into his seat. And then at once the desktop's back. In shock he sees the background's black. To his surprise though, on the screen there's no more damage to be seen. And then a box with warning sign explains to him that all is fine. My friend, I think the time has come to teach you how to be less dumb. For threats and dangers everywhere attack all those who do not care. So when you grab a file online, you should be checking if it's fine. Do not be quick to open it, lest by a Trojan you are hit. On VirusTotal you can test what anti-malware would suggest if they were shown your file to see if malware is what it could be. Though even then, please hurry not, so by surprise you are not caught. Rethink once more if what you've got could really be the thing you thought. My time is over, I am done, so once you close me I am gone. What I destroyed I'll recreate, my job was just to educate. I wish that next time you're inclined to run some unknown file you find. You spend a thought, or even six, to not fall prey to malware tricks. A loud alert sound, like a scream, awakens Tim from this weird dream. Tim rubs his eyes and is concerned about the lesson that he's learned. Though none of what he's seen was real, some anxiousness he still could feel. Tim's wishful listeners like you, is that you learned his lesson too.